Here we are at Trip Mine in New Hampshire, and we are looking at a pegmatite. A pegmatite is a type of igneous rock that uh, cooled and solidified from magma. And what's special about a pegmatite is that it has very large crystals in it. And you can see some examples of these very large crystals. I've got some big feldspar crystals here. Um, but those aren't even that big for pegmatites. Some pegmatites have feldspar and other crystals that are 10, 20 feet long. So we're talking about really big crystals. And the reason pegmatites can get these really big crystals is because pegmatites are the last part of an igneous intrusion to cool. So they have a lot of volatiles in them, and volatiles promote large crystal growth. Now, the other thing we get, because pegmatites are the last part to cool, is they are enriched in incompatible elements. Incompatible elements are elements that prefer to be in the liquid state. So they hang out in the liquid magma for as long as possible. When that last magma cools and solidifies, then they crystallize. And Thus, we get some very interesting minerals in pegmatites because it, they have those incompatible elements. Uh, right here, I have some tourmalines. This, uh, this particular pegmatite also has beryl found in it because some of the typical incompatible elements include lithium and beryllium and rare earth elements. Now, pegmatites are fascinating for even more reasons. The magma that co that's cooling is highly chemically reactive, which means that as uh, some of the pegmatite has cooled and solidified, the remaining magma, the remaining melt, can chemically react with those minerals and create even newer minerals. And uh, so you get kind of weird zones in pegmatites. And in this particular one, we can see right here uh, a whole bunch of these dark minerals, which are tourmalines, a type of tourmaline called shoral, and that forms in this zone right here. And that's very typical of pegmatites to have zones of different minerals. Now, here in New Hampshire, we have a few different types of pegmatites. There are what are called NYF pegmatites, standing for niobium, yttrium, and fluorine, and NYF pegmatites come directly from igneous rock, igneous melt. And then we also have what are known as LCT pegmatites, which stands for lithium, cesium, what did I say, LCT, lithium, cesium, and tantalum. Um, and those LCT pegmatites react with some sedimentary rocks uh, along their, their way. And so they have some of these different elements in them. And so the best part about pegmatites here in New Hampshire or anywhere that pegmatites are forming is you get big, pretty crystals and you get weird minerals that you wouldn't find in other places. So if you want to study minerals and you want to collect beautiful minerals, pegmatites are a thing to go to.